Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special and somewhat different 0k cast than normal. I'm doing a big team game with Google Frog. I kind of thought Hello. maybe we should try doing a big team game where at least one of us knows kind of roughly what's going to happen. And then we go into a bit more detail than just the kind of chaotic mess of the casting that it normally is. Yeah. So I've watched this game. This was suggested in the uh, Detriment rework thread. So there are detriments in it. And yeah, I know what's going to happen. I and mean, I should be able to point out some interesting things. All right. Well, let's begin. Hey. Well, might want to pause and look how this game even started. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so starting out, we have the entire Neap Tide Eastern team basically all ready to go with the entire Central Sandbar just taken over by them. Yeah, not the entire team, but they were talking earlier about rushing multiple commanders over to the left. And they've put down a few land factories, like two tank factories and a shield bot factory, to really try and hold the land. They want to take the central sandbar and win the game from there. Yep. They have we a do few have... plays in the top right and bottom right, just to expand and take the metal extractors. And... Certainly valuable. I mean, six metal yep. per... Extractors. And that appears to be their plan. Yep. So on the, on the other, other side... Sorry, you go. Yeah, on the other hand, we have this shallow side set up to essentially... I mean, if the, if this is to be believed, rush a detriment, which, good luck, but basically more focused on a wider control. They're much more focused on getting those six metal per second corners, kind of focused on a soft control in the middle, so it'll be easier for them to recover if they lose the central sandbar, but it's also a little bit harder to hold the line in the meantime. Yeah. They have a lot of plays in the bottom left, and that seems to be where they're trying to rush the detriment. Mm-hmm. That's too many plays to try and hold that area. It's you know, far more than is required if they just want to expand from there. Yeah, but so they be... could get some economy up quite quickly. Which seems to be their main idea. I'm... Well, right, that's... We'll find out how it goes. Now that we have that all set up, let's... Let's get started. So, so far... Quick commander push, actually. Quite a few yeah, rapidly upgrading commanders already going in the center. Morphing a bunch of commanders, making even more land factories, and just moving out. It looks like... Three commanders, four commanders, mostly with drones. They're quite aggressive. Yeah, drones have actually been a bit of a controversial topic lately just because of the fact that you can get essentially a free unit off your commander that goes out and starts attacking. No one, yeah, one not as big of a deal, but in this, yeah, in this, we'll see how well it works for rush, rushing, and it's actually not the strongest thing in the world, but oh, it might actually end up being a mistake. Marfus taking a lot of damage from a lance to their commander. Yeah, they said low two players, because this will be an easy rush, won't it? But now they're a bit worried about that lance, because it could take out a commander. They could possibly at this point rush them all in, but it depends whether they want to take that kind of loss. Well, the lance at least has been neutralized for the time being. And thanks to the overcrowd out in the way, took the shot instead. But it does seem like that center area of the map is very much under the control of Neeptide. Taking quite a bit of the actual coastal areas as well. Yeah. This is not looking good for shallows. Not in the if short we zoom term. Out a bit, we can see that they've really gone hard into subs as well to try and take the sea around it. Two Which, ship factories oof. are pretty much on the south east of the island, uh, pumping out subs. Yeah, that that is going to be a bit of an issue. I mean, we already see this one ship factory set up for Mr. Detonation that is not going to last very long. The one thing going for Shallows, though, is, as you said earlier, Google Frog, there's a lot of economic play. They're currently running about 50 metal per second in advantage over Neeptide. Yeah, they and already have an advanced Geo in the bottom left, and that's giving them a lot of overdrive. The Mexes on this map have a base income of 6. It's quite a weird map. So overdrive is very effective. Yeah, alrighty, this one's down here from Pyroblock. It's already doubled pretty much just from just from the wind generators. Yes. The middle is doing a good job at holding off um, 
the advance, Oof. but they do seem to be falling. That's the thing, and they can't really leave. The commanders are trapped. Like, there's no way out of there. The subs will take them out. So, it's a valiant effort, but now it's a question of how, how is the Shadows team going to be able to deal with these subs? Siren is apparently the answer coming in here from Fireblock, or from Slab, rather. That yeah, trying to rescue those commanders. Oh. Although now, oh. Um, their right players have started making uh, Lickos and taking out the commanders. And GGG, with a number after him, has morphed a commander that had the artillery to take out the center. Well, with that, Neeptide has the center completely under their control. Shallow still has the economic advantage. And one Little thing to note as well is that Neeptide has a lot of tanks and cloakbots there, which can't really do much on the rest of the map. Well, unless you they say can transport that. them somehow. That's, I was going to say, you, you say that. But, for one thing, we have morphable conches. And also, Amphbot just has gin. So, they can teleport the those tanks wherever they small. want. Getting a gin onto an island is essentially taking the island. So they That's may have invested fair. slightly too hard on the uh, taking the island. Yeah, they have what, gunships. They I guess they could the go for Hercules. It, it, but mm. I agree, this is basically just a matter of using them to hold the line. That being said, with the bulkhead unit being added in, there's actually a lot of options to take from the sea. Yeah, that's what they've got to work on now. They're getting a fair amount of reclaim from the middle, but they still can't beat the overdrive. With Neep, sorry, with Shallows having a, a singularity reactor now in the bottom left. Yeah, one second coming up. Detriment four minutes away, because why not? I mean, they have the economic advantage, or at least kind of. They have of quite a few do. players helping on it. What? What yeah. is going on to it? About 70 metal per second going into that, so that's a third of the income of the entire team. Not a bad amount. The one thing I'm thinking of is they're kind of relying on the fact that New Tide has been very focused on either subs, which can't really do much to land, or pure land units, which can't really do much to adjacent islands. But if Shallows has yeah. to deal with Amphbots coming at them, that one might just be too much. Like, Shallows, they're, because they are building the detriment, they can't really invest money into units to defend. So, unless they're able to hold the islands with just the fact that they're already on the islands, it, it's going to be over for them. They are making good use of the islands, though, of the defenses they are. there. Neeptide feels like they've won because they've got the, south, the middle sandbar. So they might be complacent and, you know, let this debt build up. No, well, they are starting to get... Yeah, that's true, but they don't know the detriment exists, I don't believe. I double -check yeah, there, there's been no scouting into the back there, as far as I recall. Yeah, it looks like... No, they have no idea there's even caretakers or anything there. There's... There is no indication of anything. So, for now, Neeptide a little bit... Playing it slow, I guess they figure, like you said, they're winning, so they can just grind this out, because they're winning. They have the advantage economically. They, they do indeed have that advantage. And so attrition will win it for them if they just play it safe. Yeah, they're building up their own detriment though. Although well, it's just one player, so not much of the team's economy is going into it. On the right of the central sandbar. Oh yeah, there it is. Very slowly. But 20 minutes before that's done. Just south of that, they've really gone into Seawolf still. They just love subs. Well, I mean, the thing is that if they have control over the sea lanes, there's really no way for the Shallows team to reinforce each other's islands. And so from there, a divide and conquer strategy would be very effective. Yeah, sure. Now, of course, that's... Neeptide yeah, is pushing on the south now. They one of those indeed. commanders... One of those commanders that morphed the center is continued morphing and turned into a level 9 guardian. I, that's a thing? I've, okay, that's the first I've seen one of those. And yeah, rockets na with napalm, bunch of radar, massive amounts of range and damage. What's this range? Range. A lot it of damage boosters. Eleven. It's. I think its range might exceed that of a lance. So I think lance is a thousand. Yeah, it's. Yes, it is. It, artillery. <laughs> yeah, that, those are rockets in excess of basically any oh, artillery that otherwise are, exists. The subs are moving in. Oh, they are. There they're is, in fact, some room up. to get in. They are, and that's so not going to make short out. work of them if they're clumped up like that. 
I keep saying, use line move. Oh. Line move is your friend, point move is your enemy, and that is exactly what the sea wolves are experiencing. Pylon. They were killed by an energy pylon, I and mean, the siren certainly softened them up, but yeah, the energy pylon finished them up. As a pylon, a siren, and a commander. Uh -huh. Yeah, if we see if the zoom out of it. The sirens are pushing in behind, though. They are, but now without that giant mass of sea wolves, Shallows is coming in and basically retaking, just flanking those bulkheads from the side, putting them in a really awkward situation as the detriment is now ready, pushing forward to actually start being really a threat. Do you have economy view on? I, I do, yes. Okay. So he's moving the detriment in slowly. Shallows is now up to four singularity reactors, which is keeping them almost in there economically. They're making good use of the lobsters to <laughs> oh, move me. That's that move is the nice. A bit faster. I don't think I've ever seen that actually use lobsters used quite that way, but if it works, it works. Do you need two lobsters to throw a detriment? I, I'm not. You need two that? lobsters to bring the other lobster along for the ride. Oh, the I see. The lobsters so throw each other chain. and the detriment. You could so if you wanted to chain jump, to make a, yeah, yeah. And then the detriment has his own jump. Oh my! What? Okay. Well, by the way, this is a brand new detriment. This has been patched. This has been changed recently to be a much more oppressive unit, as demonstrated by wiping out the level on commander we were gushing over earlier. Also, it can that. jump. Yep. There goes that indeed. Fire off steel gun, wipe out everything. Just, I mean, the gauss cannons. I think were there before. Or... The ghost cones are there. They're slightly better now. Yeah, but the D gun is completely different. And very, and basically just saved shallows completely. Neve tide forced to retreat, losing the entire south side. The north side is a little bit in better shape for Neve tide, managing to take a couple of the islands. But now that detriment yeah. is the focus of everything, and Neve tide they might not be prepared for this. They're aiming to um, to take that down and to draw the battle to the detriment. So the question now is what could Neep Tide do against the detriment? Mm. They could do ultimatum to they could. deal massive damage, although that's made problematic by the ducks and also the fact that you can't cloak underwater. Oh, the detriment's jumping in. Oh, yep. Ooh. That's risky, but with that much health, it's probably not the biggest problem. I always yeah. say jumping in is not the best idea, but I think in this case it's when you have 80,000 well, HP, whatever. It was! It was very surprising. They perhaps, it works. they perhaps haven't got ultimatums up yet, and on a C map, they might not even go for it. The, the Lico's by Deep Tide could actually wear it down over time. That's 2,000 damage a pop, and it's only got 60,000. Yeah, that was my first thought, actually, was Lico's. And they do have possible. Are these Shockleys? They are indeed Shockleys being set up to stun out the detriment, so there you go. That's another option. Yep, stun is a good option. They've also got a few gnats, which they may use. They may spam gnats and stun it all in one hit to make it easy to fight. Yeah, the, but of course, this isn't just a detriment. I mean, you have loads of ducks following up. You have, whoa. Uh, oh, those yeah, are... Yeah, Neeptide has put up an Artemis, which is quite a good idea. Indeed. The Shellers has a few Lickos of their own. That does slow things down. So I'm thinking, wow, that got rid of, like, basically all the gnats the Shallow was throwing out there to try to support. Good call there on the part of Neep died. So now the debt's going up to help the north. There isn't yeah, really much here that can fight it effectively, although they can wear it down. It's already at half health, so we'll have to stop its rampage at some point. We'll have to be careful, but there's loads of wasps here. I mean, 7.5 meter middle per second repair on the detriment. Yeah, it's slightly by in the front. So that's not nothing. No, but also, it's not the only thing. Like, that Detriment has done a really strong job of softening up the center and really messing up Neeptide's position. Because remember, Neeptide is right in the center island. If they lose the center island, if they can't hold it properly, they don't have a whole lot going oh, for them. Oh, there are the Shockleys. The Shockleys are coming in. Oh, uh, there's but one. they've missed. That looked like more than one. You need two Shockleys to stun death on its current health. Oh, there yeah. it goes. Ah, uh, that's the Sirens dead. Oh, very dead sirens. Man, whoever's controlling... So I guess Fireblock controlling that is something that was fun. It's actually got one chevron. It's made cost? It's 
killed 24,000 metal worth of units? Oh my goodness. I mean, if you look at the attrition stats, actually, that does line up. Shallows, well, it's more like an extra 14,000 metal, just from the detriment's own damage. Like, apart from the and detriment's value, yeah. Slowly. But if you think about it, apart from the detriment's value, there's actually a 10,000 metal deficit. Ooh, Black Dawns. There's an idea, or Revenants, rather. There's an idea. Revenants don't have bad burst. They don't. Yeah, that was very effective. Air is one of the weaknesses as well, for the detriment. So now it's running away, but it's running in a straight line, actually. So it's Ooh. easy to predict where it's going to be. Yeah, and there's... Uh, wait, what just stunned that? Or is that the Nats? Got stunned by a few Shockleys. Oh, there it was. Okay, it's hard to tell. It's too zoomed in. And more coming to follow. More Shockleys, more um, tech Nukes, just to make sure. It's still taking quite a bit of work to kill. They're losing a lot to the support units. Which, as I was pointing out, is kind of the point. I mean, yeah, Detriment's really strong, but what you get with the Detriment is breathing room. And so, Shallow's yeah, already had a strong home. 30 seconds of Paralyze, it's probably going to go down. Well, the question now is what is next? Because there's no additional Detriment. We're just seeing loads and loads of support units being built up. And there goes the yep, Detriment. There Wipes out everything nearby. But exactly. It did so its what job. is next? The shallows had been building a lot of ducks behind the detriment, actually taking their own attrition damage in a sense because they were just spamming ducks into support it against possible ultimatums, which maybe right. wasn't so required on this map. So the shallows don't have much they've built up behind it. Yeah, and a detriment is coming in on the other side, which is about thirty seconds away from being done. Thirty and seconds away if they keep up production. Right, but Neve Tide probably is going to start their it. own detriment with about three minutes left. Oh, yeah. In the bottom left. Just Detri Wars. That, that's what this game is. All detriments all the time. At least you get to see the brand new unit being all overpowered and everything. There are I mean, 20. Yeah. There are 13 liquors on the map. Sort of split between each side. Except that Neve Tide has a, that really well placed Artemis. And the really well-placed chainsaw on the bottom, too. Or no, sorry, that's not Nita's, that's Shallows has a decently well-placed yeah. chainsaw on the Shallows bottom. is trying to deal with the, with the Lickos, but isn't doing so well. And they're getting rid of a lot of the Nats, though. But the question now, the Detriment's up. Nemtide has their own Detriment, and the response Detriment has not been completed for Shallows. It won't be completed for another three minutes. Shallows has a bunch of support units that have gone down, and now with the Detriment coming here from Neatide, this could seal the deal. And there is 15,000 Reclaim, 16,000 Reclaim around where the Detriment died. So, even if it just makes space, they could get this Reclaim and get a massive advantage. And that would basically win them the game. I mean, three minutes, all well, two and a half minutes left on the Detriment here, and no other real units in place to deal with the Detriment making space. Like, there is... There isn't even a Shockley or anything. Are there no turrets? No stun options? No... No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. This detriment they is... They haven't even scouted the detriment. They don't know oh, that they need right. to deal with it. Sheesh. Also, I never quite realized the detriment is so tall, it's basically... I'm basically watching Pacific Rim in 0K. I'm, yeah, I'm good with a... this. <laughs> I don't know, this is an average depth map, actually. Yeah, this is this is not very shallow. Like, land units can't go through this. This is just the detriment's just that tall. Well, now they're certainly aware. Yeah, trying to stun it, but that's oh, just one commander. That's one commander's not quite enough. That commander is going to go down pretty quick. Oh, jumps out. Leco's coming to finish out the commander. There, it's done and. That detriment has nothing to oppose it. Nothing can stop it now. Nothing. Nothing, I say. Even if nothing. they could stop it, it could just jump into their base and kill the, uh, how many singularity reactors now? Five or Twelve. Them? Oh, sh yeah. Foo, <laughs> that, that would be, that'd be a thing. So you could deal with detriment if you can wear it down, if you have enough territory to, you know, form a buffer. You know, we can lose 
this half of the map as long as we kill the detriment. But there's no half of the map available for Shallows to lose. Yeah, not to mention, if you look, the Neeptide has taken the north pretty convincingly. Yeah, Their earlier question, weakness of... The Neeptide has a, a big yeah, navy no. there. Oh, the data is yeah. not jumping in. Oh, it takes out the production facilities around the other detriment, locking it down from being produced. It's at 87%, That's... so it was... It... Half a minute away with Ooh. all those constructors. But now there's basically nothing that will be able to stay there to complete it. And with that, Neep Tide is just in an amazing position. Like, I'm not even sure Perhaps they really they need to worry about lobsters, underwater lobsters to throw it away, but now it's just <laughs> too close. It, it tend, yeah, I don't know if they would have thought of like using the lobsters on the opposing units. Would be funny, but I don't. I don't know if that would have happened. So now that it now that dies, well, there's all these singularity reactors nearby. So yeah. it's done its job. Wait, is the Dutchman that's under construction going to explode if it dies? Uh, yeah, because it's always close enough to complete. Oh dear. Well, that works well for shallows. So for it there it is. <laughs> there it is. There's the shiny. Going up there, and that completely wipes out the Southwest Island. Uh, the Detriment Wh Rex survived, but oh. Oh, little dear. else did. Yeah, it's more importantly, Shallows' economy certainly didn't. They're now a quarter of the economy of Neeptide. And, and Neeptide and decided to go in. Navy in the top. Yeah, there's the resign. Neeptide getting that in. Shallows throwing the towel, and honestly, a pretty interesting showing of the new detriment. Just to just see what it can do, which is a hell of a lot. Yeah, Oy. but not if you don't have the things to back it up. Yeah, or if it gets stunned. <laughs> if it gets stunned, you're yeah, kind you of poop. Yeah, if you look at the stats, if you look at the team stats, let's have a look. So uh, army value. Oof. Army value is interesting. The Shallows finish their detriment, and then Neeptide just loses and loses army. Even they can't rebuild it fast enough for the detriment to kill it. Yeah. But then also they finish Shallows... the detriment shortly afterwards. And just rock it away. Yeah, like Shallows didn't really focus on much. I mean, granted, they seemed like they were building a lot of economy to go forward, but they didn't have, beyond ducks, a whole lot to work from. Which might have been yeah, a bit of a they problem. Didn't back it up. Well, they backed it up a little bit, but not with the right. army behind they, it. More they backed it up sort of with anti-ultimatum units. They didn't back it up with you know, proper artillery or shields or anything to, well, if an army came in to deal with it, to deal with that exactly. army. Just, if an ultimatum comes to wipe it out, the ducks will catch it first. But it's like, you only need about, you know, two dozen ducks in the scale of map to do that. Well, you, have to, you do have to keep nutrition. rebuilding them. Well, no, but I mean, like, you know, like a, two dozen or so in total when you consider that you only need, like, six or so surrounding the detriment to be able to block off any ultimatums. Yes. Then you just need to have like, the, like 24, 30, 36 or so over the course of the detriment's lifespan. Or at least in reserve. Like at, at any one time, you need like 24 to 36 just so you can have a decent number of ducks in reserve to screen. But you, if you have that and you have 200, 300 metal per second, you can easily start building up a larger navy, start building up a bunch of other units that could maybe go around the back and start dealing with some stuff because the detriment is a massive focus, so everything else is undefended. Could have. I definitely agree. The bombers. The bombers were good, and the the twelve singularity reactors might have been a few too many. It's time to build an army at some point. Yeah, because each of those is what are they? I don't even know offhand. Never even bothered to build them. Yeah, uh, four thousand. Why metal. is my mouse moving? Maybe your hands moving. No, my mouse... Something's up with my mouse, I think. I mean, the cursor is gradually moving up. Without me touching it. Must be ghosts. Probably. Anyway. It just makes it difficult, because it means I can't really see what's... Oh, there we go. What the Ah, oh, screw it. Just grab a... Grab a worker... Grab a worker. Oh, 40, it makes yeah, 4,000. 25 energy for 4,000. Not really and worth it. And they were paying themselves back pretty quickly. But, 
you can't always be assuming you're going to not like lose in the next four minutes or five minutes. Yeah, probably at that's that point. Fair. I mean, yeah, I think it just shows the value of having a buffer zone that you are allowed to lose if a detriment comes along. That makes sense to me. At any rate, that that should be that. We strong demonstration of what a detriment well supported can do and a detriment that what doesn't have as much support gets stymied on. Anyway, thank you for joining me, Google Frog, and thank you all for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good night, everyone. See ya.